Hiya, I'm Pimmy. Uh, today I want to show the um, enormous pile of um, uh, spun yarn. Um, and I, I want to show it off because um, I'm done with spinning for this project. And um, I've spun um, 10 kilometers of um, low twist single, uh, fingering weight single. And uh, now it um, is ready to be dyed and then it can go off to weaver. Um, but I'm, I'm done, done, and I can uh, uh, see if I um, can find another uh, project to, uh, to work on. Um, and not for a deadline, uh, but just for my own pleasure and uh, joy. Um, but first, uh, I'm very proud for a bit. See, because this, this enormous pile of, um, of wool is all the, the spun yarn that will become a, a Iron Age um, dress. And you can see the this is the, the fiber I originally started with, the um, carded uh, white Shetland that I got from uh, World of Wool. And this is a really light grey um, from uh, one of Betty's sheep. And um, you'll get a, a little tone, um, tonal difference uh, in the in the dyed uh, yarn so that's nice um, and uh, yeah the last bit wasn't uh, all that much fun uh, spinning anymore and I, it, yeah the, the spinning was still nice but um, um, I was quite done with uh, uh, spinning uh, for a deadline and um, trying to get everything finished in time. So uh, I haven't been spinning since I finished this, and which is a bit odd for me. And uh, now, um, but yeah, I had to decompress a bit uh, after, uh, after this project and think about what I want to do for myself. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and I think I um, have an idea for a next project and it will be something with color <laughs> uh, and um, I have a rainbow dyed fleece that um, uh, I dyed um, with um, the help and equipment uh, knowledge of my friend Ineke um, and uh, years ago, I uh, bought a really nice Hampshire down um, fleece from her that she dyed um, uh, rainbow. And um, I carded it uh, into all the different colors and lined them up um, to make a, a rainbow gradient. And uh, then I um, did a chain ply from that to keep the, the uh, colors um, uh, uh, nice um, in line and the, then after weaving it became this and um, it was one of the first First things um, I tried, I tried um, with weaving, and um, it's it's way too dense uh, because it became weft faced, and um, uh, it's it's not a, a shawl, but it's still very beautiful in color, and it usually hangs over the couch in the living room, but uh, I. Uh, uh, put it here um, for showing off uh, today um, 
Um, the fleece I have. Let's see. Um, we did the same thing. made it um, uh, a bit darker we put a, a bit of black in the dye pot as well just in the in the water and then we um, sprinkled the, the dye powder onto the um, fiber but um, it gives the, the same effect as if you would um, dye a, a grey fleece instead of a white. So it's uh, more jewel tones. Let's see. I have a spot here to lay it out. Um, and um, it's, a, it's a bit muted and. Um, Bit more somber colors, perhaps. But yeah, I really like these, and I'm thinking of um, uh, splitting them, splitting them uh, in in the different colors, and then uh, carding up a gradient uh, again. And this is a uh, tassel, white tassel. Nice, dense, um, crampy uh, wool, which I enjoy a lot. And um, I think this time I won't. My chair is farting, I think. Need some oil. Um, uh, I think this time I won't um, be weaving with it, but um, uh, I want to uh, knit a sweater or a cardigan and I have a pattern in mind and it has um, um, a yoke, I think it's a cardigan, I haven't looked it up again. Uh, but it can be made into a, gar a cardigan, of course. Um, and um, it has a yoke which has little parts. Um, and the, the parts are um, uh, knit doing short rows, I think. Um, and it uh, alternating with um, some other color. And I was thinking about uh, doing a gray in between a darkish gray to make the colors really pop um, and um, uh, because it's um, it, the, the knitting goes like this you get uh, the gradient uh, going in parts not uh, like this but like this uh, so yeah I think I, I want to make something like that uh, from uh, from this wool and um, I think I'll be starting with um, uh, uh, splitting it in the different colors and then um, carding and by the time I've done that and uh, sorted out all the all, all the colors then um, uh, I'll probably uh, spin this uh, for um, a Tour de Vlies uh, project um yeah that's all i i had planned for my tour de fleece really i'm usually spinning whatever um and there's always uh, projects of um uh un uh, dyed uh, wool um I have several uh, um, bless um, fleeces that um, I want to spin up um, to make uh, um, clothes.
earplugs for my daughters who, want, who are reading the Rangers Apprentice uh, books and they want to have uh, um, a green camouflage cloak um, for when they uh, uh, shoot their bows um, in, the, in the forest. Uh, so I want to do a um, commercial warp, uh, green warp, and then um, a Zwart, Zwart Bless um, uh, weft is probably what I'm going to end up with. Um, so that, that's, there's always um, um, more Zwart Bless uh, that needs spinning. But for now I'm really looking forward to some color and uh, uh, playing with the colors and um, uh, making a gradient so uh, that that will be the next pr project and um, yeah I'll probably be showing that off in the, in the next uh, vlogs and um, uh, I hope to see you then bye